Now, let's find area of a triangle. Let's revisit the area of the triangle which we have found using the coordinates. Sometimes, area of a triangle generally given by, say for example, I have the triangle. This is the base and this is the height can be found. If the base and height is known, we all know that area of triangle is given by half into base into height is how we have learnt in the lower sessions. But what if the height of the triangle is not given? Say for example, I have a triangle whose height is not given, then how do I find the area of the triangle of that particular dimensions? In that case, where the height is not given, a, an ancient mathematician called Heron has derived a formula called Heron's formula. And Heron's formula states that is exclusively used only when the sides of the triangle are given where the height isn't given. So Heron's formula says that if I have a triangle ABC whose sides are A, length B and length C, then I can use the Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle where the height is not given. Only the sides are given here. So for this, the Heron's formula can be used as area of triangle ABC is root of S into S minus A, S minus B into S minus C is the formula where S is A plus B plus C by 2. This is the formula for Heron's given by Heron for using the sides, just using the sides, I can find the area of the triangle as root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is called the semi-perimeter, which is given by S equals A plus B plus C over 2, called the semi-perimeter of triangle ABC, because it is half of the perimeter of triangle, which is A plus B plus C. So S is defined as semi-perimeter of triangle A, B, C. Heron's formula without the height given of the triangle. So let's find the area of the triangle whose dimensions are given but the height is not given using the Heron's formula. As a practice problem, let's take an example case. So consider a triangle A, B, C whose dimensions are given as 12, 9 and 15 meters. Now in order to find area of this triangle ABC, I am going to use Heron's formula where my A is 12 meters because the side A opposite to vertex A is 12 meters, my B is 9 meters. And my C is 15 meters. Initially, using the three sides to find the Heron's formula, I need to first find the semi perimeter, which is given by the formula A plus B plus C over 2, which in turn on substitution gives me 12 plus 9 plus 15 over 2, 21. 36 over 2, which is 18. Therefore, my S here is 18, which I am going to use along with ABC in finding the area of triangle with the Heron's formula. So, area of triangle ABC given by Heron's formula as S times S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C on substitution gives me root times s which is 18 times s minus a that is 18 minus 12 and 18 minus 
9 and 18 minus 15 is what I get here which on continued simplification on subtraction and multiplying each of the terms I get this to be root of 18 times 18 minus 12 which is 6 times 18 minus 9 which is 9 and 18 minus 15 which is 3 which on multiplication gives 2916 which is nothing but exactly the square root of 54 therefore area of triangle ABC is said to be 54 meter square is how I calculate using the Heron's formula. So let's continue with the coordinate geometry. The topic for the session is straight lines. Now as we have already discussed about straight lines in case of the previous sessions where straight line was defined as a linear polynomial or a linear polynomial equated to zero in two variables x and y. So let's recap with how a straight line looks on a real xy coordinate system and what is its equation and then introduce the concept of slope connected with a straight line. So to start with the straight line a straight line was defined in general form as the linear equation in two variables x and y in the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero this has been already discussed where the condition is that a b c are all real numbers and a and b are non zero so either a or b are non zero the one of them should not be zero so in this case of general form of representing the straight line as ax plus by plus c equal to zero how does this look on a real xy coordinate system is the biggest question out here we all know that if say for example i take a straight line 2x plus y equals 4 then we all know that this is a straight line with a equal to 2 b equal to 1 and c equals to minus 4 if this is brought to the left now for this straight line for this linear equation how does this look on a real xy coordinate system so let's plot the points and see how we get the different coordinates so when i take here in the tabular form i just have the set of values taken on in the table so randomly i take the values of x and y the first row with x values and the second row with y values wherein I take x is 0, then y is 0, then minus 1 and 1. So let us randomly take some values for x equal to 0, y 0 or x minus 1 and x equal to 1. These two give me the x intercept where this gives me the y intercept and this gives me the x intercept as we have already discussed in the previous sessions. So for finding the y intercept, I plug in x equal to 0 and when I put x equal to 0 in the equation I get this to be 2 times of 0 plus y so on the whole my y value is 4 when x is 0 similarly when my y value is 0 then my x is 2x plus 0 that is 2x equal to 4 such that x equals 2 similarly I take x equal to minus 1 as the value assumed there and then let's see what will be the value of y so x is minus 1 implies minus 2 times of minus 1 plus y equals 4 from the given equation. So this on further simplification gives y minus 2 brought here 4 plus 2 which is 6. Therefore this gives me the corresponding value is y equal to 6 for x equal to minus 1. Similarly for x equal to 1 what is the y value? So substituting x equal to 1, 2 times of 1 plus y is 4, which on simplification gives y equals 4 minus 2, which is 2. So these are the values or the points, the four respective points which are obtained from the table as 
zero four is one point two zero is one minus one six is one and one two is another point which we are going to plot on the real x y coordinate system so let's see what would be the shape of the the figure which is obtained by joining each of the points or as obtained from the table so in this case of the four points which I have obtained I plot them on a real x y coordinate system if this is x axis and this is y axis then I have this as origin and 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc till minus 4 and here I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 etc so with suitable scale on x and y axis let me plot the first point 0 4 now 0 4 is the y intercept that is the point where the graph crosses y axis or cuts y axis so we have this 0 4 here so this is the point where the given graph 2x plus y equal to 4 cuts y axis is how we understand the y intercept similarly the x intercept is 2 0 which makes me understand that this is the point where the graph cuts x axis therefore locating the point 2 0 here I identify the point here so this is the point where the graph 2x plus y equal to 4 cuts x axis and at 4 cuts y axis respectively the x intercept and the y intercept is how indirectly we understand the concept similarly the next point is minus 1 6 which clearly comes on the negative side plus this is how I get and then the point 1 2 which comes as 1 2 is how I get this so when I just plot all these points in the graph paper it is interesting that for a linear equation in two variables x and y the graph always passes through the points in such a way that is exactly a straight line you can pass all the points through a ruler or a scale which is put on the graph sheet so this is exactly a straight line is how we understand the concept of graphs so the equation of this linear equation in two variables two x and y is a straight line so this will be a straight line is how we understand in the coordinate geometric concept a straight line is nothing but a linear equation in two variables x and y or vice versa and using this the different points I locate the x intercept is 2 and my y-intercept is 4 and it passes through many points now say for example randomly I wanted to find the point I wanted to find at x equal to 3 what is my y I wanted to know the value of y when x is equal to 3 so if I wanted to find the val value of y corresponding to x equal to 3 using the straight line then I identify that for x equal to 3 on this graph exactly which is perpendicular this would be somewhere here so let's see what exactly is the value of y I obtain from the algebraic simplification so when I take x equal to 3 2 times of 3 plus y equals 4 that implies y equals 4 minus 6 which is minus 2 so therefore clearly when x is 3 I know that my value of y is minus 2 sometimes to avoid the simplification the graph helps me in finding the values of y when I know the value of x from the graph sheet or I can find the value of x when I know the value of y respectively from the graph sheet if I know the value of y is minus 4 then my value of x is somewhat as 4 is how I understand the concept so different values of x and y are just nothing but passing in this form so this is how I get the different x and y values associated with each other with respect to the line 2x plus y equal to 4 which is a straight line 
in this case x equal to 3 giving me the corresponding value of y as minus 2 from the graph paper which can be verified from the simplification which gives me exactly y equals minus 2 is how we can verify but the advantage of the graph is that we can find as many number of x and y coordinates on the given graph by using the relation from the graph in this case of a straight line this giving me the value for corresponding to x equal to 3 is how I understand the straight lines connected with the coordinate system.